the best phone call of my life. I immediately heard that she was from Intel and I started crying. I think I scared some of the janitors who were still in the building because I was so excited to get the phone call. Actually, let me be honest with you. I got the call three times that day. I'm a finalist? What? Honestly, I didn't even believe that it was true until I got on the plane. <laughs> trying to write what, write down what they were telling me on the phone and I was shaking because I was so surprised and so excited. And then I think I ran to the bathroom, closed the door, and jumped up and down for a good 30 seconds. Finally, I pick it up and they're like, hello, Steven Leverton? And I'm like, yes. He's like, you're an Intel SDS finalist. And on one hand, I'm just like, yes. But on the other hand, I'm kind of like, oh. I thought it was my dad. So I was really confused for a while and then, oh, it's the SDS. Wow, what, 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 what the hell is happening? Oh, I shouldn't be swearing, should I? My mom's like, what they say, what they say, and I'm trying to shush her because I had to hear what they were saying. So she's like, I think some telemarketer called, and I told them to call back if they needed to, but they wouldn't leave a message. So I was like, Grandma! <laughs> she just hung up on him. I actually kind of forgot about it. I really didn't think I was going to be selected as a finalist. Silently mouthing things, they were almost like thinking something was wrong with me, but I was just so excited, I couldn't believe. And then, like a couple of days later, it came to me that this is a big, Deal. The first night that the students came into town, one of them came up to me, a young man, very nice young man, Daniel, and he said, uh, I just want to say that I'm the person that screamed on the phone when you called. And I said, oh, Daniel, that does not set you apart from many, many other students, especially the boys. <laughs> I believe that Intel SDS is the most exciting science competition because it gives us a chance to celebrate and highlight the most accomplished high school researchers in the country. Only at STS could you come and have conversations with other high school students about quantum physics or about parallel processing. You don't really hear of any higher honors than being an Intel finalist. It's really amazing to talk to these people and be like, wow, you're my age and you're trying to cure everything that I've heard of. They're willing to share everything they know with everyone else. There's other kids here who actually understand my research. That's what I'm really looking forward to, meeting people who are just as excited about math and science and learning a little bit about their work. I think the friendships that I have made and will make here are definitely going to last for a very long time. There are people who have the same interests and passions as you do, and people who are also passionate about science, so that's really nice. When we're eating breakfast, we'll hear about, you know, thermodynamics principles, to like quantum mechanics, to cancer cures. With your own imagination and your own initiative, you can really make anything you want. You can be anything you want to be, and you can do the project that you want to do. I've met the other Intel finalists, and they're all appreciative of science and very enthusiastic about their work, which creates a supportive environment. I'll take with me the fact that I like science even more, and that people like science just as, like, just as much as I do, and I'm not an outlier or anything. This is sort of the culmination of years of work and years of experience in science. I remember actually watching a video about Intel SDS, thinking that could never be me. Now that I'm here, I want to like, be able to tell other kids that that really could be you. Scientists know no national boundaries in a lot of ways, and these students are the beginning of that cohort for each other. They will, in many cases, stay connected for the rest of their lives. This connection is real. What really drives me is, is the curiosity, just the innate desire to ask questions and to want to know how the world works. I think science is asking the question why. If you're at all curious about things, then math and science help answer a lot of questions and help you develop your curiosity. Innovation is advancement of the ideas that we already have. The greatest part about innovation is going back to the core and saying, well, is this really true, and kind of exploring that. Basically, we make our own futures. If you want to improve your future, you have to take it upon yourself to kind of go out there and learn about new things that interest you. It's all about your passion and what you want to do and that 
nothing should be considered impossible. It's not that I like reading out of a textbook or memorizing facts. Um, I don't like that just as much as the next person, but it's really just asking questions. And it becomes like a staircase of people innovating more and more. There are so many things out there that are currently unknown. I was kind of inspired by the fact that I can do something at my age and in this time. Find something interesting, try to figure out how it works, explore it further, see what you could use with it. We all are successful, we just have to unleash our inner potential in order to really be able to realize that success. The first place winner of the 2013 Intel Science Talent Search and the recipient of a $100,000 award from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and Cheyenne Mountain High School, Sarah Bowles. I'm so surprised. I mean, I feel like there are so many deserving people, and like all of the people who I got to meet this week are so smart, and their projects are so amazing that I'm really stunned and honored and amazed. Science is such a broad and amazing like, field. It's, it's more of a philosophy than like something you learn about because it's something you, you do. It's something that you explore and create. I can't even begin to describe it. It just feels so surreal right now. It's such an incredible honor and I'm just, I'm so incredibly excited and I'm so thankful for, to Intel and SSP for this ridiculous opportunity. It's just, it's just crazy. I'm really just speechless. I never expected to, to win anything. I definitely want to continue pursuing science as a career, uh, to study physics in college, and this is definitely a big uh, motivator and uh, something to look back on with a lot of uh, happiness.